Thank you so much for joining us for another edition of the Coach's Corner. For more for Life Campaign, 30 days towards change, 90 days to keep a change that we have believed in. And my name is Marcus Sled. Assuredly, as I always say, I have a plethora of issues, but I bring to the table the wisdoms and knowledge and understandings that perhaps could aid you in transitioning from where you are now to where you want to be, or at least steps closer without the drama. This is the Coach's Corner on SIBN FM Radio. Thank you so much for following us and telling a friend. Glad to have you aboard. Step by. Right. Thank you so very much. Thank you so very much for following us. All of you have done such a splendid job. We're in the early stages of building a radio station, and we're proud to announce that we now have enough followers to make a difference. Uh, but our goal is very, very steep. So if you know someone that would enjoy our programming, digital programming, let them know we're on Spreaker by all means, but also on other platforms. I broadcast TV, Ustream, YouTube. Uh, SoundCloud, as you would well know, Facebook, Twitter, uh, they can follow us and our content in many and varied places. So that being said, I want to say thank you and also those that supported uh, our Christmas or holiday programming, programming beyond the holidays. Thank you to you and you. We're talking about for more for life campaign. Uh, this is my own design. I noticed that I'm starting to get people that are following me who are much, uh, much been in the business a while. And I may speak to that later, but uh, they there. I see some big time folks following me on Twitter that uh, that should know all the answers. I should I should say. Uh, and I don't know whether to be flatter, flattered or honored because <clears throat> I come up with my own unique uh, techniques uh, in approaching life from where I sit, from where I sit, not from where someone else is sitting. And then I take another integral uh, view and look at what I disseminate to ensure that it has a global reach. It has a global reach. And, uh, and, and, and and a lot of times it's just sharing, as I say, on the onslaught, uh, how I have dealt with or overcame my own personal and or professional issues. I think that we live in a society now that the pretentiousness of who we uh, shown ourselves to be uh, has made our society sick at best. Um, and so my attempt with my uh, content is always to uh, make you understand that you are okay. You're going through hell and high water, up and down, all around, uh, in and out, uh, spiritually immature, you feel, but also wittily and intellectually uh, astute in some cases. But you're human as well. And everyone wants more some people get stuck when they hit a wall i remember a writer saying that though i'm bound the word is not bound and so today we're talking about what word do you have that you stick to or your talking points in your campaign the things that you always say when asked. The peripheral, peripheral of the answer. One of the things that I have noticed about the political realm is they never really answer a question. 
they have already anticipated the questions that are being asked and so therefore as the speech writers along with others they come up with talking points that are to be stuck to and we have seen throughout the history uh, of the world what speeches can do on the stump and we have also seen what has happened when the talking points are extended or 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 forgotten or left you know but the talking points essentially is to keep you on task and keep you focused and part of the problem that we have is that we're not as focused as we could be and so we're just our mouth is all over the place you know we're saying whatever we're doing whatever uh, I have I have a friend uh, who who attended a certain uh, assembly i won't call the name or anything like that but i remember that there be there was a certain language that they used and 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 i tell you it was very very unique very unique because we have to adopt a certain language and we have to adopt tps we have to adopt adopt talking points and for many of us, we, we, we don't know, you know, we don't, we don't think that we have to be strategic with this, but this, this right here could get you in a lot of, a lot of trouble because there are things in you that have not changed yet. There are things in you that have not been revealed. There are things in you that are not right. There are things in you that are not right to reveal. That's my point. And, and so your talking points keep you at, at a focus. You know, I mean, you know, some of your friends may, 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 may get annoyed you know at the fact that you have said that before you've said that before why do you keep saying that and we know that the talking points are in my view the peripheral of the conversation it's not the conversation we can talk about the talking points and make the talking points the conversation which is the political persuasion that we use you know in the political scene but it should be the same persuasion that we use in life because we're not there yet we're not there yet you, you get what i'm saying we're not there yet in a in a talkative sense we're not ready to just talk off the cuff here you're talking about having change you're talking about having tr transition you're talking about you know having more for life you're talking about getting your business off the ground you're talking about stop dating these wimps of a man punks players and pimps you know what i'm saying in the back in the booth in, in, in the dark talking crap you know you wind up i don't, I don't want to go there you you want to you want to get married you want to you know whatever the change or transition that you're seeking you're going to need some talking points it's that plain and it's that simple and we all remember now if you have not been listening to the for more for life campaign series uh, and we're on day 20 now you have to go back because this week up man we covered a lot and there will be uh, uh material that will be forthcoming uh for you to purchase uh as well as download and so forth and you know, you know more, more things are coming forward but if you haven't been listening to other days prior to today you missing out because we talked about you got to have a campaign manager if you're going to make if you're going to make any kind of change you have to have people in your life to help you manage it you're trying to manage it by yourself is not going to work. You got to have campaign advisors. You got to have uh, people constantly that a small circle by all means, less than five on your hand if you have to. But they have to. If you have to have advisors. You you can't do this alone, and that's part of, part of the problem. People just run out there and say, you know, I'm gonna stop doing this. I'm gonna stop doing that, and 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 I'm guilty as well. And the whole point of this is that I'm guilty. That's why I'm on the microphone, because I'm guilty. And then you got some people who matriculate or maturate towards you all the time trying to help you with your change, and they're not qualified because they want you to change the way they want you to change, but you want to change the way you know you aspire to change, but you keep falling into uh, a certain circle of folk who keep you at the change that they believe in. I felt that right there. And so your talking points is critical. I, I think I've shared this before, but I remember sitting in a meeting and, 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 and the guy asked me, he says, well, why do you have to do that? Why do you have to do that? You could just forget about that and come work for me. What the? <laughs> Tell you, if I wasn't born again, 
it would be on and it's on and popping now though <laughs> you know you don't have to do that you can come work for me and do that for me you don't have to go and do that for yourself the sign of disrespect and dishonor if you've never matter of fact if you want to let's let's do a test let's do a test when you go out of your house or your or you get out of your car or if you're listening to this as you're driving if you, when you leave out of the the place you know when you you know get get into transition and you get around your people and your peeps and your crew and all that i want you to just work on listening and and maybe you might have a pad or you know, note app on your phone or something and i want you to just write down what the talking points are for the people around you what do you hear because that's what your opponent is going to use against you. Whatever you're hearing from them, that's what they're going to use against you when you decide to change, to, when you decide to transition. So take take 24 hours, I meaning take two 12 hour days or take, you know, four, four days, you know, or four eight hour days or take a week if you have to do four hours because some of y'all can't observe too fast, too long, you know. You just you can't you, you you know that's and that's another thing you want to be quiet enough still enough, you know, uh, uh, you know submissive enough, you know, in your own way to to be able to be quiet and listen and observe. But the issue of the matter is this: if you listen to folks, you hear the talking points. I heard a person say that they didn't want X, Y, and Z to happen around their you know I'm not going to call any specific things and I thought to myself well ain't that a <laughs> you, 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 it's, it's amazing when you sit down and see somebody who don't want nobody doing no harm to them and theirs but they, they made and took every opportunity to make sure that they could do whatever the hell they wanted to do when they could and would do it. But now you want peace and trans tranquility around yours and you have not made any amends to go back and fix anything. You have not repented, if you're talking about the Christian way, you have not you not have not had a heart to heart conversation with anybody of any significance. You know what I'm saying? The talking points, dude. The talking points, young lady. The talking points. It's the same way why you keep winding up in bed. Players use the same talking points. They don't change. And all of us got a player inside. I felt that right there. Let me just break that down because you keep saying, well, I want to meet somebody who's not a player. All oh, men. But being a player is not the bad thing. The, pr the, the problem is when you're playing with fire, when you're playing games, See, I want to meet somebody who's not a player. Man, every man got a player in him. But see, player didn't got a bad name. Because like I say, my most famous saying is this. Stop playing games and play the game of life. Then you'll win. But that's why you end up in bed, because of the talking points. Players got them. Pimps got them. Now, I, ain't, I don't approve of pimps. But they're out there. I'm finna go get her on you. They out there with their talking points. And one of them is, where's my money? Another one is calling you out your name. It's the bombardment and the yelling and the and the constant noise uh, of, of any name but the name your mama gave you is to de de denigrate. I don't want to get started because I always run out of time when I get started. It's to denigrate your confidence, desecrate your honor, the honor of your name and your legacy and your heritage, calling you out of your name. Those are talking points. And you need me to say it? Hey, bitch, when you when you when somebody call you a bitch and your mama didn't name you that, that's a talking point. And you keep hearing it. We hear it so much now that it's in the movies. It's in the sitcoms. Because we think it's, we, we made it a normal, acceptable way to call somebody a bitch. But that's their talking point. Now, the question of the matter is, what's your talking point? What's going to be your response? And some people use that as a regular uh, a way to conversate. Now, listen, if you want change that you're going to be able to live with, if you want change that's uh, global and not just local, if you want change 
and transition that takes you to a place that you aspire to, but you can't not fully imagine. You're going to have to get rid of some of this hood rat stuff. And that ain't the only thing. I'm just saying a word that's somewhat tolerable. You know what I'm saying? Because we got, we got young ears. We got folk that, that sanctified their little ears, see. You don't want to get me started because I'm already close to the edge with this thing. Talking points. And your mama got talking points. And your daddy got talking points. And your grandparents got talking points. Everybody got talking. If you sit and listen long enough, shut your mouth, sit back, drive your little ride, enjoy your little soft leather, put on your little fashion clothes, and just be quiet, you'll hear the talking points. They are the same thing all the time. They never really have any significance of a concrete conversation, but the talking points in and of themselves become the conversation. I felt that right there. Talking points. What are you saying? So w when you think about it strategically, what you and I have to do, we have to say, okay, now I, I you know, I, I, I keep falling into the same trap, the same pattern, the same uh, avenue, the same pathway. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, Jesus had a talking point. I felt that right there. Jesus had a talking point. He says, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm telling you what I'm going to do. Now, I don't know what you're going to do, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, what my purpose is, what my destiny is, and that is I'm going to die for your behind sins, and then I'm going to get up on the third day. He said that over and over and over and over and over. That was his talking point. That was his talking point. That was his talk. Well, we want a king. We wanted this. We wanted this with Peter. We're not going to let that, nothing happen to you. you know. But he stuck to his talking points. And so how do we know that was his talking point when at the end of the day, when they came to the tomb after the crucifixion, after the resurrection and all that, you know, uh, burial, I mean, and then they came to the tomb and, they, and, they, and, they, and, they, and then the angel greeted them. Your talking points need to be written in stones to, to where the angels can understand what you're talking about. Your subconscious will grab hold to what your conscious intends. I felt that. Angel said, well, y'all looking for Jesus. He ain't here. I'm going to go back to the hood talk. You know, some of y'all understand that right there. He ain't here. For he is risen just as he said. What's your talking points? What's your talking point? I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not a Kenneth Copeland, okay? I'm not, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not a, I'm not a, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a word guy, you know, in the sense where, you know, the word movement means that, you know, you, you speak the word for those of you that are Christians, you speak the word over and over. You know, I'm not, I'm not going that far because I've seen some things that I didn't like, you know, because you tried to make that the superior conversation. That's not what I'm saying. Now, if you can do that, you know, you can have the word coming out of your mouth every five minutes, then that you do you. But I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about lines of communication that are, 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 are disseminated from your being because you believe them and that you don't allow situations and folks to get you off track with a conversation about nothing that takes you to the same pattern place that you were before. And some of y'all even still in the same pattern place, but it's just a good place. But you, it's the still same pattern because, oh, my God, I'm, just, I'm running out of time. I, I always do this. I always run the freak out of time, and it pisses me off. Because I can't, you know, I, I haven't heard from you, so I don't know, you know, what other things we need to do to tailor make this thing for you. So if you, the For More for Life campaign has helped you, you need to let me know because, I, you know, I, certain places I can't go. I, can't, I can be raw, but I, can't only, I can only be as, as raw as I think you can handle it. But some of y'all, you're doing good. But you, be, you could be doing better. What are your talking points when you're in a conflict? Let's just, let's just ask that question. What are your talking points when you're in a conflict? We all got those. Victims have talking points. It's not my fault. Look what you did to me. Girl, man, dude, I could go. I, man, I could go. I could go all day on the microphone. But I got to stop. I got to stop. I, I, 
talking points, man. Preachers got them. Y'all know that, right? Politicians got talking points. Players and pimps got talk. Moms have talking points. They yell the same thing, but don't get no results, but they keep on talking. Hey, man, this is the coach, man. This is the coach's corner, man. I done got a little tired because I need to know I need to know how you're doing. I need to know how you're doing. And you know I need to know how you're doing, but you sit there and don't say nothing. But it's all good because I'll be back. This is the coach. Follow me if you can. Follow me if you can.